Severin Films has just released for the first time, apparently anywhere on Blu-ray, a film from 1983, Canadian thriller called Siege, that I'd never heard of at all. And uh, the disc showed up and it had this amazing Severin. Okay, Severin is really good with the covers. They get uh, the best cover art. I don't think these are newly commissioned. It looks to me like they're European or, or Italian cover artists, the, or sorry, theatrical poster art that they put on the covers. And, and this had actually was the DVD with a certain cover, which was reversible to be something else, and a slip cover that was something else. So you actually get three different representations of the poster art in this movie. So Siege is a film, very simple film, basically, there's a police strike going on. Looks like it may have been based on an actual, not the incident we're talking about, but the actual event of a police strike, because it looked like actual news footage. Police strike going on, not a lot of cops to be had anywhere, and these, this group of thugs decides they're going to go into, a, basically go into a gay bar and, and beat everybody up and rough everybody up because they're tough guys and they don't want that sort of person in their town all that kind of, the usual. So they go in, things go south, somebody gets killed, they call their boss, the, the, the boss that everybody's afraid to call because you, you don't want him to know if you messed up. He comes in and basically, I hate to give a lot of the opening of the movie away, he executes all but one person in the bar. That one man is able to escape and run away. Thugs hot on his heels, the escapee manages to get into an apartment building and get taken in by this young couple who are there with two of their blind friends or people they take care of or associates from like a local blind school. One of which is played by one of the uh, goofier comedic characters in Meatballs, which is interesting to see. Another Canadian film from right around the same time, within a year or two. So basically what Siege is, it's a siege. Basically what Siege is, is this couple deciding whether or not it's worth protecting this guy who a bunch of people with guns are coming to get or just to like not want to make trouble and let him go. So the bad guys get the high-powered rifles and the scopes and the big bad boss man who's quite good with any weaponment of weaponment. It's a new word. Use it. It's free. Any weapon or implement of destruction the boss is good with and uh, they basically it's basically assault on precinct 13. <laughs> basically but it's not a precinct, it's, a, it's, a, it's a assault on apartment 2B is essentially what this is. So the, the majority of the film is uh, this young couple and their neighbor trying to use whatever tools they may have. I think they have a rifle, they may have a couple, they may have a weapon or two, but not much, to defend themselves and this innocent uh, escaped from a massacre guy uh, until the sun comes up or until the police show up or until they defeat the bad guys. So. The director does admit that it was inspired by Assault on Precinct 13. And as I'm watching this, I'm like, wow, this is pretty much Assault on Precinct 13. This is a Canadian Assault on Precinct 13 done like a decade later. Um, sim vaguely similar music, too. Um, not as memorable as the Carpenter music, but while I was watching this, it, it had that vibe. And uh, apparently the, the directors, it's directed by two people, and I'm going to look up their names because I hate to, to not give credit where credit is due. It's Paul Donovan and Maura O'Connell, who also made the movie Defcon 4, which is one of the most memorable video covers from my youth in the video stores from way back when. That was like a post-apocalyptic movie. Uh, so I didn't really care for Siege. So for me, for me, I didn't love it. Mostly it comes down to, I thought the the acting on the bad guys was, was kind of weak. Like, they seemed more silly and annoying to me than they did menacing. And that just took me out of it. Like this, the, the main young guy who's supposed to be this tough talking guy, I just wanted to laugh every time he was trying to be tough. I mean, he was saying terrible things and doing terrible things, but I just couldn't take it seriously. So it's it's a decent little thriller. I mean, the uh, the commentary is, is sort of a back and forth between uh, Paul Donovan and the director of Hobo with a Shotgun. And the, the Hobo with a Shotgun director loves this movie and says it's a Canadian classic, it's an exploitation classic. And maybe maybe if you saw it at the right time, maybe if it's more a sense of national pride, I don't know, but I, I thought it was okay, you know? I think had I not seen Assault on Precinct 13 first, I might have maybe liked this a little better because this just kept reminding me of that. Um, it, it's, it's certainly decent. It's, a, it's, it's certainly impressive what they accomplished tension-wise with not a lot to work with. I mean, it's just a couple of locations, really. And I believe it was actually shot in the apartment of, of one of the directors that you know that you work, work with what you got, basically. 
Um, work with locations you know you can secure. So I thought Siege was okay. There is a commentary. There is, um, there's actually two versions of the movie on here. That might have made a difference. I've been told in the past, I always tend to go with a longer version of something. And in the past, I've reviewed things and people have said, actually, you watched the one that was, was too long. You should have watched the other one. So maybe I should have watched the other one. There's the Japanese version, which is what I watched, which is like 90-something minutes. And the original release, original cut is 80-something minutes. So I watched the longer one. So that might have altered the pace for me. Maybe that would have made a difference. But anyway, this is a new Blu-ray from Severin Films. It looks very good for, for a very modestly budgeted early 80s Canadian film. And uh, your mileage may vary, as they say. A lot of people may like this more than I did, but I thought it was okay. So Siege, out now on Blu-ray from Severin Films.